Time for the Bias Sports Report. Jason Spezza will be out at least two months with back surgery. A huge loss for the Ottawa Senators. But you know, Spezza, after you have back surgery, you get a lollipop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you like that, don't you? He'll be fine. The guy who planned to buy the Phoenix Coyotes, something Jameson, uh, apparently doesn't have the money now. Dum, 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 dum. I mean, put it on your visa. I don't have money. I just put put it on my visa. It's only the Phoenix Coyotes. I'm sure there's room. It's not like you're buying Columbus or anything. What a joke. Let me just fold that team already. Move it to Quebec. NFL and CBS analyst Dan Marino cheated on his wife of 28 years back in 2004 and apparently had a love child with a CBS production assistant. Uh-oh. That's what happens, kids, when you don't wear your isotoners. Gotta wear your isotoners. And you know what? Snowflake isn't impressed. (laughs) Not happy. Those dolphins, they take adultery very seriously. Donald Driver's calling it a career after 14 seasons with the Green Bay Packers. Upon hearing the news, Brett Favre called Driver and said, You can't just retire. You gotta fake retire a few times first. You gotta retire, then unretire, and retire, then unretire. Can't just retire. There's no way to go out. He played 10 years with Brett Favre. Didn't he learn anything? Come on, man. Niners quarterback Chris Culliver has apologized for anti gay comments he made when he said he wouldn't accept a gay teammate. Uh oh. Just like that. 24 hours ago, he said no way he ever played with a, a, a gay teammate. Now, all of a sudden, he'd love to. Yeah. Right on. It's like somebody told him to apologize. I wonder. Maybe. Jim Harbour must have yelled at him. The Toronto Raptors completed a blockbuster deal uh, requiring Rudy Gay from Memphis. Uh Uh-oh. It's a good thing uh, Chris Culliver doesn't play for the Raptors, I tell you what. Ain't no time for that. He's going to turn the Raptors around, this guy. I've heard that before. Toronto Raptors are going to be a contender now. A 77-year-old liquor store owner who was shot in the eye during a robbery last week says watching The Rock beat CM Punk for the WWE Championship was worse than getting robbed. It's still real to me, damn it! Guy got shot. And the worst part of his week was watching The Rock win the WWE Championship. Some people take wrestling way too seriously. It's still real to me, damn it! That guy must have hated the movie The Tooth Fairy, I'm thinking. And such a girl, Whitney, is 26 and looking for a man with a job. Uh oh. That's it. That's her requirements for a boyfriend. Do you have a job? Good. You have a shot then. Even if you're the guy who has to hose down porta potties after music festivals, you got a chance with uh, Whitney. Go out there and get her, my friend. That's all I got. 875 1061.